Owls, like hawks, eagles, and falcons, are birds of prey, or raptors. These predatory birds hunt and eat small mammals and vertebrates, and sometimes even other birds to survive. But unlike how we would cut up and chew a big steak dinner, owls don't have teeth, so they can't chew their food. Instead, they simply swallow it whole. That's right, the whole enchilada. Well, if mice and voles were enchiladas, anyway. Owls differ from other raptors because they lack a specific organ called a crop. Where other birds can store the food that they swallowed and digest it later, owls' food goes directly from their mouth to their gizzard. The gizzard is the owl's second stomach, which acts as a filter for all the undigestible items that the owl eats, like fur and feathers and teeth and bones, kind of like when a cat coughs up a hairball. A few hours after an owl's last meal, the gizzard compresses all of the undigestibles into this. A small projectile nugget in the shape of an owl's gizzard, jam-packed full of useful information about the owl, the owl's health, the habitat, and even the particular species that live there. Pellet size can depend on the size of the owl or the amount of prey consumed within a specific time frame. If the owl ate two short-tailed shrews and one songbird, the contents of all three would be formed into one pellet versus one pellet per prey item. When the owl is ready to eat again, it will regurgitate one of these pellets to make room for the next meal. So let's dive into this nugget and see what we can learn. All right, so we are actually working with maybe two pellets here today. They're a little old, they're a little weathered. So the majority of these bones are actually entangled up in fur. I don't see any feathers in here right now. Oh, that's a good one, that's a long one. So more than likely this owl did not eat any songbirds. We might have a skull here. Sometimes this is where the tools just kind of get in the way. It's better to just kind of pull things gently off with your fingers. Okay, it looks like this is gonna be a jawbone, maybe half of a skull. That's pretty cool. This is that bottom half, so the skull might be somewhere in here. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, we have a variety of bones here. We have our vertebrae, rib bones, femurs. Um, we have at least three skulls. They're probably from three small rodents. They could be mice, uh, shrews, voles. Just assessing from the species that are in this, this owl probably lived near a forest or a field. Uh, in that case, it could have been a barred owl or a great horned owl. The pellets were of a good size, so I doubt it was a screech owl or a smaller species. So this has actually been a really great haul from just these few pellets. As you can see, there's a lot of really fascinating information that we can learn about owls and their habitats from these adorable little regurgitated death nuggies. 